Depending on your personality, you might respond or react to relational conflict in a variety of ways. You might be someone who responds with outward anger where it's so obvious what your feelings are towards a person because you are yelling at them. You might respond by retreating and shutting that person out of your life completely. In other words, they're dead to you. Maybe you respond with a passive aggression that gets your point across. Whatever your reaction to conflict is, you will have an opportunity to use it because we will all face conflict with another person at some point in our life. It's inevitable, which is why the Bible talks about how important unity is. God would not have talked so much about unity in scripture if he didn't think there would be division amongst his people. Conflict happens wherever people gather, whether it's families, churches, at work, in communities at large. No matter what personality type you are, you are bound to find yourself in a conflict. So what do we do with that? In the New Testament, I love what the author James says in chapter four, verse six. He says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. I think humility and prayer is a great place to start with all of this. If you are experiencing tension in your life with someone right now, are you praying for them? That's the question I've had. I've heard it said this way. It's almost impossible to stay angry with someone that you pray for. Do you agree with that statement? When we lift those who have wronged us or those that we fundamentally disagree with up in prayer, does our anger, does your anger start to diminish? I'm not saying you will suddenly see eye to eye or be best friends, but will your anger towards that person start to fade away? I think so, and I think that's why it's so important that Jesus wants that for our overall health. Jesus said this, he says, you've heard that it was said, you must not murder, duh, right Jesus? But he says this, if you commit murder, you are subject to judgment. But I say, this is the new law. He says, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you're even angry with them, you're subject to that same judgment. That's how much Jesus wants you to be free from anger. That's how much he values what's in your heart. Now, as you go about trying to resolve conflict in your life, I urge you to pray for that person and settle matters quickly so anger doesn't build up and potentially consume your life. Jesus wants you to be free from that. He wants you to be free from anger, no matter what our circumstances are, no matter what people around you do or say.